aspect. Yes. Of course. And we are feeling really, really joyful. Blessed love family to my regulars, let me say thank you for staying here on Real Empress Yuda channel. Your energy, your love, your light and your presence is felt. I must say I appreciate love you being here on the channel and I could not do this without you. You're like the oil to my engine. And with that said, for the new subscribers who have come onto the channel, let me say welcome to Real and Pursue the channel. I have been seeing you and I must say thank you for stopping here and thank you for hitting the subscription button. With that said, family, let's move right into this video. When I saw this publication, I had mixed feelings really because I was quite disgusted with what I saw in front of my eyes. However, I was not surprised. At the same time, I had to really have a laugh about it. Even though it's no laughing matter. And that's only to show you how frightened I was. To see that in these times, in the 21st century, when people are beginning to wake up to truths, we are still seeing these images and these signs and these things being perpetuated and being placed in front of our very eyes. I still cannot fathom how the Anglican Church could feel that this image would be acceptable. Absolutely no way. This statue depicts a Caucasian angel who is seen here subduing a dark-skinned so-called devil lying under its feet. This statue is portraying nothing but a racist white supremacist ideology which was forced onto Africans when European explorers and missionaries established first contact with Africa in the early 15th century. We continue to see the perpetuation of this same ideology and we know the power of symbols and signs. And I'm going to give you a few references here. Say, for example, in Jamaica, where I am from, the Queen of England, even though we so-called gain independence, we are still so-called under British rule. We are still considered to be a member of the Commonwealth. As such... Our head of state is still the Queen of England and her representative in Jamaica is the Governor General. So the Queen does not have to be physically present in Jamaica for her presence to be felt or to be known. And it's the same with the Catholic Church and other dioceses. They do not have to be physically present within the islands or within the African diaspora for us to see and know that this is an Anglican church, which stems from a Greco-Roman philosophy. So this statue has been met by nothing but raised eyebrows and criticisms. Um, the family in Ghana is completely disgusted and they're calling for the removal. They're also asking questions as to why would the Catholic Church feel that commissioning such a statue, which is a racist depiction of a Caucasian angel subduing a dark-skinned so-called devil under his feet with a sword in hand, would be okay. With that said, family, I'm going to ask you now to leave your comments in the comment section. Let me know how you feel about this statue, as well as do you feel that it should be removed? Or do you feel that this is white supremacy there in its ugly head? On the back of this, let me congratulate Muta Baruka on his IRFM Lifetime Achievement Award, which was awarded to him on the 24th of March at his alma mater, Kingston Technical High School in Kingston, Jamaica. Family, I will be creating a separate video which will be a tribute to Muta Baruka because if I were to go on on Muta today, this video would have no end. With that said, family, for those of you who don't know, Muta Baruka is the popular radio host of The Cutting Edge and Stepping Razor 
aired weekly on Irie FM. He's been doing this for over 30 years. Mota is a philanthropist. He's a Pan-Africanist and a Garveyite. He's also a motivator. He's a writer. He's a poet. And Mota has dedicated his career to educating and edu-liberating the masses. He has brought so much awareness to the African community. With that being said, family, I'm going to leave this video right here. And I leave you with love, light, and upful energies. Until my next video, I'm out now. Rail, Empress Yuda, blessed love. His Majesty, peace be upon them. Some of them are warriors.